Fucking shush! Alright, listen, listen! Naked pictures are not allowed on YouTube, right? So keep this quiet. Do you guys want to see a pair of great tits? You do, right? <laughs> you old dog. There you go! Nice naming system, animal scientists! Calling these birds tits! Grow up, you immature bastards! Animal scientists are so stupid, man! Who looked at a whale and decided that it was a mammal and not a fish? Now you don't need a brain to see this, right? It's clearly a fucking fish, man! It lives in the water, it has fins, and its body is shaped like this. That means it's a fish, mate! Um, actually, its babies are born alive, so that makes it a mammal. Who cares? That is not how you should go about classifying animals, mate. How its babies are born. Mammals are things like humans and dogs and lions, alright? Does the whale look like it fits in with these lot? Does it? Or does it look more at home among these other fish? Point proven. You lot stupid, man. Which idiot looked at a frog and a toad and thought, Shit, they're different, aren't they? No, they're not, right? They look like twins for fuck's sake. Except one's got dermatitis. But the worst one, by far, crocodiles and alligators. It looks like a copy-paste of the same picture. So what exactly is the difference between a crocodile and an alligator? You might be wondering, right? Now, there's a bunch of stupid ones, but there are two main ones. One of them is the shape of their snout, which is stupid because to me they look close enough, but to animal scientists, this slight difference is apparently more than enough to warrant a whole new animal being classified, right? And if you watch this clip, you will see the animal expert in the video mention the absolute fucking worst reason ever to warrant the need to classify a completely new animal. Just have a watch, right? Yeah, well, One of the thanks ways... for bringing it here to the television yeah. show. <laughs> if you look at the fourth tooth, down Yeah, there, get in there with your finger and show me. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. That fourth I, tooth I can't tell, up. I need to see specifically which it tooth. Sticks up from the bottom there. That's one, one really good way to tell alligators or crocodiles. The fourth tooth sticks out! Not the third, not the fifth, the fucking fourth! What?! You cannot be serious, man. That is not a reason to classify a new animal. So based on this, right, my assumption is that when some crocodile who's in need of some orthodontal treatment comes along and has his third tooth sticking out instead of his fourth, rather than just saying, oh look, that crocodile's got some fucked up teeth, hasn't he? These bastard animal scientists will look at that and go, I found a new species! No, you haven't! Psychosomatic, that boy needs therapy. Animal scientists are shit with colour. It's kind of like with grapes, okay? Now have a look at these, right? These kind of grapes are called black grapes, obviously, right? These kind of grapes are called red grapes, obviously, right? And these are called white grapes. What? Excuse me? They're not fucking white at all, are they? Who looked at these grapes and thought, oh, these are some lovely white grapes, aren't they? Who named these grapes, man? The KKK? But fuck grapes, right? We're talking about animals. You also get things like the Great White Shark, which is way more grey than it is white. Again, wonder who named that animal, right? And really quickly, let's just have a look at these. This is a red squirrel, this is a red fox, and this is a red panda. What do you spot wrong here? Yeah, exactly, right? They're not fucking red at all, are they? They're all orange! Now how did- How did you guys not spot that? You lot are scientists! You're supposed to be smart, man! And most of you nerds wear glasses as well, right? So your eyesight should be perfect! You're a nut! You're crazy in the coconut! And by the way, just to pick on this, not only is the red panda not red, it's not a fucking panda either, is it? It's a ferret! That's red. Here's a dog, a fox, a coyote, and a jackal. They look the fucking same, don't they? But despite that, right, animal scientists say that they have enough differences between them to be classed as completely different animals. So if these four look different enough to be classed as different animals, why aren't dogs? Look how different dogs can look, man. These are all classed as the same animal. Where's the consistency? <laughs> 
There are too many species, man. Seriously. Like, for example, let's look at ants, all right? Ants are such a simple organism. Three blobs for a body, another blob for a head, six legs, and those feely things at the front, right? Boom, ant. Simple as you can get. But even though ants are such a simple animal with so few things you could change about it, animal scientists have somehow managed to define 11,800 different species of ant. What the f- No, no, man. That's ridiculous, okay? I refuse to accept that there are 11,800 completely distinct types of ant, whereby I would look at any one of them and say to myself, Oh shit! No, you're right! That species of ant is nothing like the other 11,799 species. Have a look for yourself, right? How are they finding so many different ways to distinguish one species from the other? It's getting ridiculous, right? Now listen, I did my research for this, right? Looked on Wikipedia. If we take weevils as an example, right? Some of the criteria which could warrant a new species are when those front feeler things have a bend in them, if specifically the sixth and seventh stripe of the arse blob part has some type of vents on it, and if the rim of cartilage forming the shoulder socket is disjoint from the head plate. Those are so fucking random and someone explain to me why. What's the fucking point? Now, for example, as a scientist, if you're able to say that you discovered a new species of something, is that considered impressive or something like that? Like it'll make you famous or it'll help you pick up women at the bar or something. Or laboratory, whatever. Someone please explain to me why the creating of so many species. And he also made false teeth. But listen, right? If you think that all of the examples in this video have been bad, which you should by the way, right? I haven't even gone over the worst one. If you go to Google Images and search for mountain chicken, you will see the number one stupidest named animal ever. Right, now go on, go and Google it. Video's over. Well go on then, the fuck you stood here for? Go Google it!